Fontina is the cheese and Fontana is the city. You're welcome. Hi there. I'm Ali Jabenbach, Medical Director here at UCSB Student Health, and welcome to another episode of The Doc is in Video. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and this episode was brought to you in collaboration with Dr. Dave Botsford, our own resident sports psychologist and all-around great man over at CAPS. This episode is about connections and the importance of connections to college-age students. Connections can be very powerful in promoting mental health and well-being, but they can also be a challenge. Dr. Botsford could not be with us today, so he gave me a comprehensive list of items to discuss when talking about connections. Number one, pick up Poochie from Doggy Daycare. Number two, get the... This is the wrong list. There are many different types of connections for college students. People have connections to their academics and major, their roommates, friends, social circle, uh, their hobbies and interests. So to further illustrate the point, we're going to use our imaginary student, Owl. Owl is, of course, a math major, but she's also a member of the Gaucho Knitting Club. She has three roommates and is a dog owner. These are all different connections for Owl. So the stronger these connections are, the more likely it is for Owl to have a mental health benefit from that. And yet these connections are so important that Owl will likely deny who she is for fear of hurting any of these connections. Now let's say that the knitting club likes to work with natural fibers like alpaca and wool. But Owl has a liking towards synthetic fibers because they're more durable and less expensive. But Owl doesn't feel like she can be honest with her knitting group about her like of synthetic fibers for fear of harming this connection. Let's say the math students love to use scientific calculators, but Owl also has a soft spot for the abacus. But she feels like if she reveals that to her fellow classmates, that connection will be severed. So she denies her interest in the abacus and starts using the scientific calculator again even though it's not her true favorite. Over time, these denials of her own self can start to take a toll on Owl. And Owl can start to feel anxious, uh, sad, and question her own self-doubt or identity. Usually, the reality is these connections tend to be stronger than most people think. And revealing someone's true identity, typically far from severing a connection, can actually help to make the connection stronger and help to make the group stronger and help the individual to feel more comfortable with themselves. So as everyone navigates their connections, my hope is that they can feel comfortable being their true selves with all these points of connection. That's all for now. See you next time.